In my last video, I showed you guys how to create a custom content optimization tool, which allows you to rank number one on Google. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to access this tool for completely free, and you can actually use it yourself. So it's now been deployed. I will share the link with you guys um, in the description below today's video. So if you want to check it out and use it for completely free, you can do so, and it's very, very easy to use. So first, all you need to do is copy over a top ranked blog post for a specific keyword. So let's say, for example, I go into Google, and I want to rank for the keyword, how to get a mortgage in Canada. Let's say, for example, this is the keyword that I'm going after, right? I want to find a top ranked blog post, for example, this article here from Nerd Wallet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over the content of that specific article. So I'm going to copy over all of the content here. And we're going to do sort of a content audit and get some recommendations that we can follow to outrank this article. So we're going to copy that over. I'm going to head back over to the tool. Again, this is the link in which you can use. Then I'm going to paste in the blog post in the article. And then we're going to click analyze content. It's going to take a little bit for it to actually work. But essentially, once it's finished, you'll be able to get the keyword, you'll be able to get the outline, and you'll be able to get key information which you can follow to then outrank that article. And you'll also get a custom prompt uh, and then you can take that prompt, pop that into Claude, like I did, for example, I'll show you guys what the custom prompt will look like. So each prompt is going to be different because it's going to take all of the information and the recommendations and then create a custom prompt. And then you can just sort of pop that into ChatGPT, you can pop it into Claude, and then you can get it to write the full article. So once you run the content optimization tool, this is the information which you'll get back. You'll get back the main target keyword. This is going to be the main keyword in which we'll be trying to rank for for this specific um, blog post. So this is going to be sort of the target keyword. Then below that, we're going to get some other keywords. We're going to get related keywords. As you can see, we get a good amount over 10. The numbers are between 10 and 20. And then we're going to get some LSI keywords as well. So these are all keywords in which we can include within the article. Now, what I could do just thinking out loud right now is I can probably have it include as a number for us how many times that keyword is actually included within the article so for example if you know mortgage application process was included more then that would be a good barometer for us to use for ourselves to know how often we need to include that keyword within the article kind of like what new and writer or surf seo would give you so that's something in which i can definitely add in below that we're going to get the content structure which is essentially going to be the outline and then below that we're going to have the seo practices this is going to be some of the best SEO practices that this article use to rank on Google. Then we're gonna get some improvement suggestions. These are things in which we can improve upon to write a much better article. And then below that, this is probably my favorite, which is going to be an article writing prompt. So we can then use this prompt. This prompt is gonna take all of the information from above, give you a prompt, and then you can use this to write the full article. So what you can do is now, once that's finished, I'm gonna copy this over. I'm going to head back over to you can use Claude or you can use ChatGPT, whatever you like to use. Claude has been giving me some shorter outputs lately. So I've been kind of testing using either ChatGPT or Claude. So what I like to do is I'm going to paste in that information. But then what I'm also going to do is I am going to copy over some of the other information here. Right, so I'm going to paste that in there. As you can see, it's pretty easy to copy and paste. I will probably add in a copy feature as well. And then we're going to run that prompt. So essentially, we just copied over all of the information there and we fed it into ChatGPT. So now it has better information and it should be able to write us a better article. Of course, you can add as many prompts as you like to make the article a little bit more um, customized for your specific, you know, your specific niche, your specific topic and your specific business. But this is going to be a good sort of foundation in which you can use to write your article. So, for example, I only got 500 words. Let's actually go ahead. We're going to copy over the same prompt and we're going to head over to Claude and we're going to run it back on Claude to see if there's a difference in output quality that we're able to get back here. Right in Markdown. So let's see how to apply for a mortgage in Canada. Step one, getting your credit, determining your budget, choosing the right mortgage, comparing lenders, the mortgage process, FAQ, so a pretty decent article. Again, this is a very generic topic. So it probably, you'll probably get better outputs for something that is more, you know, specific. It's not a very long article. It's about 600 words. So I would definitely want to um, 
improve the prompt to make sure that I'm getting much longer outputs. And I can simply tell it to aim for 1200 words, 1500 words, whatever um, word count that I'm looking to go after. But using this tool will give you a nice foundation of information which you can use to then direct how you're going to write your article, especially if you're going after a top ranking keyword or a difficult keyword. So I'm going to troubleshoot it to make sure that it's working within the actual um, application here when it's deployed, because I did see that we're running into some issues. But when you're watching this video, it should be fixed and you should be able to use this for completely free. I am using my API key, so you wouldn't have to pay for it. You simply enter your information. And then on the right hand side here, as you can see, you will get the main target keyword related keywords, and so on. And then you can go ahead and copy over that information. So for now, you can only do one article at a time. But you know, maybe if there's a lot of um, if there's a lot of popularity within this tool, we may add some more features as well and make it a little bit better for you guys to use. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, I will be leaving a link for this below and you guys can check out this content optimization tool for completely free. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.